Hey, what's up, guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description for all my information. Join the Discord. Uh, a lot of perks, a lot of being in the Discord. There's a lot of, like, talented engineers in there studying for specific things. So, uh, Also, I'm doing this live on Twitch right now. I do stream four hours every night. So if you want to watch these live, you can just follow me on Twitch and uh, check them out. So here I'm doing um, min stack this problem it has a lot of likes only reason i'm doing it is because i saw this post on the main page saying questions to do for a beginner uh i don't know what qualifies this person to make this list that's fine it doesn't really matter you don't need qualifications i guess but we got this main stack right here is one of the only ones i didn't do so i was like all right let's just do it uh basically design a stack we all know what a stack is where you just put elements if you don't then you might not be able to do this problem but you're just putting elements onto a stack and the most recent element you put on goes on the top so if i put negative three on that's the top then i put negative four that's the top then i put zero that's the top then whatever i put most recently is at the top and then when i pop zero comes off pop negative four comes off pop negative three comes off so pop gets you know popped off the top whatever's off the top so um and then uh, yeah push puts it on pop pops it off top just looks and gets the uh access to the top of the stack it doesn't retrieve it pop actually pulls it off so uh we want to just make a regular stack except we want to implement retrieve the minimum element in constant time okay um so if we look at this example we're just going to have this stack we have this stack class that we want to implement all these methods right we want to implement a push pop top and get min so they push negative two, that goes on, then they push zero, that goes on, then they push negative three, negative three is the top. What's the minimum of all of those? Negative three, so we get the min, it's negative three. Then we pop, so negative three comes off. Then we get the top, zero would be the top because negative three came off. And then we get the minimum of zero and negative two, and negative two is the minimum. So that's the whole thing right here. Um, so yeah, let's just implement it. There's two ways to implement this. One uses two stacks, one uses one stack. We're gonna go with the two stack one first because it's a little bit easier to understand. So basically you're just gonna have a regular stack for your numbers because this whole problem is literally a regular stack. All of these three methods are part of a regular stack. They're built-in methods to a regular stack. Only thing we have to worry about is getting the minimum and constant time. Okay, so we'll just have this regular stack. It can be called stack or whatever you wanna call it. Um, and then what we're going to want to do is have a second stack and this is only going to keep track of new minimum values so you can call this whatever you want i'll just call it min vals so there we go uh we don't even need the constructor to do this and what we'll do i guess is let's implement these two first because they're the easiest uh we're gonna put the minimums on the min stack, the regular element, every element is going on the stack, but only the minim new minimums we're seeing are going on the mins, okay. So we're just, when we return the top of the stack, the regular element stack, it's gonna have all the elements, so we're just going to return, sorry, stack.peak. It's just a built-in method already, so that's fine. The minimum's only gonna have the minimums, so the most recent minimum will be at the top of this one, so we'll just return minvals.peak, all right. That's pretty much it. Um, now these are the only things we have to add some logic to. So basically what we're gonna do is when we push things onto the stack, we're just gonna do a regular push element onto the stack. And when we pop things off of the stack, we're gonna do a regular pop things off of the stack. The only difference is we need to add some logic for the minimums. So if the, if, um, let's say if, min vals is empty so if there's no minimums that exist yet then obviously this has to be in uh the first minimum element so we'll say if min vals is empty or there's one other case if um the peak is less than or equal or no no, no if x is less than or equal to the current minimum which is the peak of this stack so is less than or equal to min vals dot peak then we want to push this also onto min vals so min vals gets its minimum pushed on so if there's no minimum yet we push it on to the min then we add it as a minimum and or if it's less than the current minimum value uh, otherwise and every element gets pushed onto the regular stack anyway now pop we do need to do also a check for okay if stack dot peak dot equals min vals dot peak sorry then that means the element that we're popping is the minimum value. So in that case, 
we need to pop from the minimum val as well. So we need to do min vals dot pop and uh, stack will get popped as well. So I think this should be good, honestly. Sorry, what is this? Bra brace expected, okay, my B. So there you go, that's the solution using two stacks. You just have one stack that's regular because it's basically all the built-in methods of a stack. And the only thing you have to keep track of is these minimums. So the minimums get put on. Whenever we see a new minimum, we push it on, right? If the, X, the element getting pushed is less than the new min the most recent minimum, push the minimum on and always push onto the regular stack, always pop off the regular stack, but make sure you if the one you're popping off the regular stack is the minimum, you gotta pop off the minimum stack as well. So minvals keeps track of the minimums, stack just keeps track of the, all of the regular elements. Uh, there is one other way to do this problem, and we can go over that right now. This is going to be uh, using one stack only. So what happens is, actually I'll just show you it because I don't want this video to go on forever. Here's it, here it is. Basically it's this, this guy has the solution right here. You just keep a variable to keep track of the minimum. You have a regular stack. And then when the, the value is less than the current minimum variable, you're gonna push onto the stack and you're also gonna reset the min. So that's pretty much it. The only difference is you're going to push the you're gonna push the minimum when you find a new minimum you're gonna push the old minimum onto the stack because when you pop off and it's the minimum you have to make sure you have the second minimum right before so when you're pushing onto the stack a new minimum you make sure you have the last minimum put on right before it so if you ever have to pop off the minimum you have the second minimum right there right at the top so you're actually adding extra elements to this that you wouldn't want in there if you wanted to just keep track of all of the elements. So if you wanted to loop through this stack in the solution and like print out all of the elements, it wouldn't be what you wanted if you just wanted to keep track of the actual elements. So it's uh, actually not, I actually disagree with using one stack in this case, uh, just because you're gonna have extra, you're having, you're putting these minimums that you don't even need, on, want, on there really like you it's better to use the two stacks if you want clarity and to actually keep track of elements so that's pretty much it this was my first live problem so let me know what you guys think i think this was my first live problem so let me know what you guys think um thank you guys for watching i'm gonna do some more problems right now and uh appreciate you guys like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video all right see ya